Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishalai. Hope you all are doing well. So get answer keys up by ISC Bangalore and I hope by now you know what is the exact score that you are getting from your respective paper in GATE 2024. And I also know that you know your approximate GATE rank also because there are a lot of rank predictors nowadays available online by different coaching institutions for all the discipline. And I know that you all have put your gate score in that particular rank predictor and you know what is your predicted rank. Obviously, it's not exactly correct, but yeah, it will be approximately around that rank only. Now, what next? You know, whatever your rank is, your admission is still not done. You still have to do something to make it to your dream colleges. Obviously, if you are expecting a very good uh, gate rank, your task is little. But if your gate rank is not up to the mark then you have to do a lot of hard work still a lot of things you have to prepare for then only you'll be able to reach to uh, different IITs and ISC so in this video I'll talk about based on your rank what is your next step what are the things that you have to prepare for so that you can make sure that you will reach to your dream college like dream IITs or ISC so that in the content of this video that what next and what is your prep preparation strategy for from now onwards so if you want to know in detail about it, please stay tuned this video till end. And before starting the video, as you always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that when you upload new kind of video, you will get a notification. And don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video. Without any further delay, let's get started into today's video. First of all, if you are expecting a very good GATE rank in GATE 2024, first of all, congratulations that you have made it to, you know, one step towards your dream college. But you know, your admission is still not done because nowadays in most of the IITs and ISCs, it's no longer a direct admission. I mean, in most of the discipline, they also conduct a written test and the weight is that they give is 70% to the GATE score and 30% to the uh, written test. So you have to prepare for this written test also. Yeah, obviously, if your GATE score is really, really good, 70% weight is given to the GATE score. So your chance is pretty high that you'll be getting admission to that particular college. But yeah, I mean, if you're uh, if you're not in suppose top 20 or top 30, maybe your gate score is around 900 out of 1000, uh, then you have to prepare for the written test also because written test is given 30% of the weight is. So please do check uh, whichever college you are targeting. Uh, how is their admission or selection process? Uh, if in their selection process is mentioned that there will be some written test and you have to go through that and kind of 30 to 20, uh, 40% weightage will be given to that particular round, then start preparing for that because, you know, your GATE score is good, but if you do really bad in those written tests, maybe it happened that you won't be selected uh, for that particular institution. For example, in ISC Bangalore for MTech in AI curriculum, it's mentioned in the web page that 70% of weightage will be given to the GATE score and 30% will be given to the written test or some technical round will be there. Now, if you are aiming for uh, ISC Bangalore MTech in AI curriculum, then you have to start preparing for this particular coding round because as they mentioned in their web page, uh, they will be taking students from four disciplines. Uh, and DA, that means data science and AI, CS, EC and electrical. So all the toppers from these four disciplines will be applying for this particular particular curriculum and in their website it's mentioned they will be only taking 33 students. Now, you know, all these toppers, they have almost similar gate score. So how they will perform in the written test, that will actually matter. And in written test, they will ask a similar kind of aptitude question, what is there in gate? And maybe there will be some uh, coding uh, coding rounds also be there. The syllabus is there in, in, in the in the, in the web page. You can go and uh, have a look in the, in the syllabus. So, so this is the difference. I mean, if you have a very good gate score also, because the competition is too tough in this kind of, uh, you know, curriculum, like I'm taking any... Uh, any any engineering discipline in this top IIT and IIST. So how you will perform in those uh, written tests also, though their OITs is very little, but that sometimes makes the difference. So make sure you are preparing very well for this written test and giving your 100% uh, to this written test so that your place is safe and secure in those your dream colleges like top IITs and IIST. So for your respective uh, area or respective discipline, go and check what is the selection process and if there is a written test, try to gather the syllabus and start preparing. Next is if your GATE score is not good, suppose your GATE score is not within 300, uh, that means you are not getting any of these top 5 IITs and IST for MTech, then you have to look for MTech research or MS curriculum. Now for MTech research and MS curriculum, the admission is really tricky. I mean, you have to go through two rounds of uh, selection process uh, to get selected for this MS or MTech research uh, curriculum in different IITs and ISC. 
In the first round, you have to go through again a written test of around 50 to 100 marks. So, it will be equivalent to another gate exam that you have to go through. And following that, there will be an interview round. So, first, you will appear for a written test uh, based on your performance. You will be selected and you will be going through, going through the interview round. In the interview round, based on whichever area that you will choose, because it's an applicant research position, so you have to choose your area of research which you will be joining in that particular institution and will do research. So, you have to choose that particular area and based on that, you have to face a panel. And in that panel, they will ask you questions from that particular discipline or that particular sub area. And based on your, your performance, you have you will be selected for that particular uh, institution. So, here you have to prepare both for the for the test, written test, that will be an MCQ kind of test. At the same time, you have to prepare for the interview. That's why your theoretical knowledge should be very, very good so that in the interview round, you will be able to answer the question that will be asked by these IIT professors. So, for those who are, whose gate rank is not good, suppose you are expecting a rank around 300, 400, till 700 or maybe 1000, you should start preparing for MTech uh, in research. Uh, so, the issue here is, there is another issue. Uh, not only the selection procedure is tricky, tricky or difficult, and the competition is even more because the number of uh, vacancies or seats is very limited. I mean, I can tell you for like for CSA department in ISC Bangalore, MTech research intake every year is around 10 to 12. So, I hope you can understand that MTech student is around 50, but MTech uh, research student is around 10 to 12. Uh, so, the competition is really, really tough. Uh, and many students, I mean, all the students from 300 to 700, 800 and will apply for this particular role. They will appear through this uh, written test and then they will appear... Uh, for the interview and typically in the interview it's 6 is to 1 ratio that means they will interview 6 people and they will choose 1 so the, 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 the task is very difficult and you should start preparing uh, from now onwards because the interview uh, typically they they, they should happen around mid uh, mid May so you have 2 to 3 months to prepare for it uh, so gather all of your will force yeah your, your, your gate is not good but forget about that move on from there and start preparing for uh, this MTech research or MS interview and written test so that you know you can crack it and finally you can reach to your dream college like any top IITs or ISC. Finally one thing I will tell you that if your gate rank is not really good suppose even if, if it is not within 1000 uh, maybe you have screwed up everything in gate 2024 still there is one option left for you that is triple IIT Hyderabad especially for CSE people it is a really really good college uh, so if you haven't done well in your CSE paper or DA paper uh, in gate 2024 uh, you you still have a hope start preparing for triple it hyderabad entrance test uh, the question paper syllabus everything is available online so try to gather it and start preparing for it solving the course previous year question and start preparing for it uh, because they will have a separate exam uh, conducted they used to conduct a separate exam for their admission every year and that the exam i think it typically happened in the april april mid uh, so, start preparing for that so that you do well uh, in that particular exam. And if you do well uh, in the exam, you will get selected for Triple IIT Hyderabad. It's a really good college for CSE to do MTech. So, that's one option that is always there for CSE people. So, yeah, that's it about this video. So, even the gate is over, but your job is not yet done. You still have to do something to get into your dream college like top IITs and ISC. And I tried to explain what are the things that you have to do irrespective of your gate rank, whether your gate rank is very good or whether you are expecting a gate rank around 500 to 1000 or even beyond 1000, what are the opportunities that you have. Uh, so, please let me know if you have any query or comment in the, in the, in the comment section so that I can answer them. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to other people also. And if you are new to this particular channel, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that when I upload a new kind of video, you will get instant notification. A lot of videos regarding this gate admission and different placement related video that is already there in my channel and I will be uploading more videos regarding date. So please stay tuned and keep watching my videos. That's it about this video and meet in the next video. Until then, bye.